everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Destination X. My name is Robert. I usually do anything that's camping, overlanding, off-roading related, as well as a little bit of DIY and modification stuff for my 2007 Nissan Xterra. Today, I'm gonna be going over this, the Oxbeam six gang control panel, switch panel for your off-road lights or anything else, any other type of lights you might need to be using. So this video should be fairly quick as I've already actually set this all up in my vehicle and I've had it on for some months now, but because Nissans are the way they are, I figured I would do a quick video of showing how I did the setup because it's a bit harder <laughs> to wire everything compared to other YouTube videos about different vehicles that other people have posted videos about. So there are a billion videos already on YouTube of what's in the box doing an unboxing review kind of thing of all these things so i won't be doing that and also i've already installed my six gain switch panel in my xterra so a lot of the stuff isn't even in this box this is everything that you get in the kit you get your actual switch panel you get your circuit box and the wiring that attaches to your batteries you get little 60 pieces of different stickers to put on the panel whichever six you want to use a little bit of double-sided tape to paint if that's how you want to mount it. Different fuses, your wiring for plugging it in and wiring it through your engine bay. If you decide to not use the tape, you have the adjustable mounting bracket and then different screws and bolts and all whatnot. So that's pretty much it for what's in the box because like I said, a billion other videos out there. So I'm gonna head outside right now and I'll do a quick walkthrough of how I set everything up. The ACC fuse is what it recommends that you plug the aux beam six gauge into um, within your Nissan Xterra. This fuse can be kind of hard to get to other compared to compared to other vehicles. So this is what I ended up doing. So on your Xterra, the ACC fuse that you want to hook it up to is actually beside the glove box right here. Just down here, you can see that I took. This red wire here is what connects over to your aux beam. Then you just take the original fuse and add it to this as an extra. So I'll try to link the form that I found this all on online. But if you come down the passenger side, remove the mat. And then underneath the dash here, you have this little plastic pull tab. You pull that out, just gives you some wiggle room. And then roll down this carpet as much as possible. And it exposes this little kind of oval rectangular shape up in here and form I found this on I think it's the second gen form online it shows that if you drill through this it goes right through your fire firewall and into your engine bay so I risked it all and I did that and it actually worked out so this is the wire that I actually ended up connecting to the fuse box up front the control box for the the control box for the aux beam and um yeah i just put a little rubber uh what are these called the things that you melt on your wiring i just put it on there just kind of as a little protection because obviously you i drilled through the metal so i don't want it to rip the wire so i just have that on there and then it goes up top here to that to that acc fuse that i stated pretty simple but it works i did a bunch of Research and everything online, trying to find this, and it says that there is a grommet on this side that goes to the engine bay. There's this kind of rubber thing, but that didn't really feel right. It's all metal behind there. Everything online said that you have to go through like the wheel well. Um, so once I found this thing, that's literally just drill a hole right through the firewall. I was like, whatever, yolo, let's do it. And it's worked ever since. And basically getting under the hood here, if you look down, that is where I drilled the hole through. Um, once again, I'll put the link to that form up and then I'll attach a little photos here. I've seen a little better close of what it looks like. And then I went with the actual switch panel here. I just have a couple self tappers here, with some rubber spacers to give it a little bit of space so I can still pop this on and off and access it if I need to. Um, do not mind my wiring. I really don't like electrical work. But eventually get more of this tubing and tuck everything up nicely. Pretty simple. And then I chose to put this kind of where it is just because the positive cable that hooks up to your battery 
that comes with this and it's attached to this isn't that long. I've seen some people like splice it and extend it, but I didn't want to do that, so I just have it there and then I have all these ugly negatives going everywhere else. Basically, this is the setup that I went with. A lot of people I've seen, they take the sticky pad right here that the kit comes with and I've seen them place it somewhere on their dash, whether it be underneath the keys here. I've seen different Xterras have, Xterras and Nissan Frontiers have like a sticky pad placement right there. Or on this side, I think is the more common version. Some people will either, <coughs> some people will either cover over this, um, these two empty spaces here and put it right there or a bit further down right there. And I contemplated doing that for the longest time, but then uh, I don't know, I just, I like, I like having my setup up here because I can see all the time when I'm driving what things I want to hit. Basically, to get this set up, I started with down here, as you'll see. That's a great transition right there in my camera. Obviously, the main power source came through the opening on the firewall on the driver's side right here. And from there, I took all the plastic out here just popped it all out along here and wired and pushed the wire along as well as the roof along the top here. I just, I slipped the wire right underneath there. I can actually feel it right now just to get over here. And then, like I said earlier, instead of using the sticky pads, I use a little bracket that this comes with and I just tighten it into place. I took actually my Leatherman, cut a few little slits right in here, just in the interior roof of the Xterra just so it sits a bit better. I did put the sticky pad actually on the back of the mounting plate and just kind of pushed it up there and it's actually stayed pretty well. I think the sun in the summertime might have like heated on there better. So it's pretty actually stable. I've never had any issues with this falling down. And then as of right now, the setup I have going is my light bar, my just uh, like three inch cubes, like amber yellow light cubes that I have in my coastal off-road bumper, and then windshield lights, they have them listed as the sticker, but they're like my, my hood lights right there. My plan is to hope to keep these three up top as like kind of my front lights, and then use this bottom row as something to put in the back. Either have kind of tracking lights up on my roof at some point, uh, maybe put some rear lights in a new bumper if I get a new bumper or whatnot. And then, yeah, not sure what that might go to. There's some options though. One thing I really like about this kit actually is that there are options that aren't just light related. Um, obviously this doesn't apply to a 2070 Songster, but you have like your sway bar disconnect, you put a different horn in, stereo fish box. I don't even know what that really is. Uh, just so many different options, little things you could do. So if I don't end up using that bottom row for different lights, I may end up using it for something like maybe even locker enable, which would be pretty cool. Or I don't even know. But basically, that's my simple setup I decided to go with. Just the little bracket it comes with, a couple slits into the, the roof, can't really see it at all. Slide it in there and it's actually pretty damn stable. I've obviously been off-roading, bouncing around in this and see it does that, but it's never fallen out, never slipped out or anything like that. The wiring's all hidden, which I prefer. I think it's clean when you can't see your wires. Like I can obviously see a bit of this on the scan gauge three and that annoys me, but it's not a huge deal. So I'm happy, proud of the setup. And then yeah, I'll come back out here at nighttime and see what the lights look like. Show you guys all. Just a quick show here. Those are just my regular headlights, no high beams or anything. Light bar. Amber pods in the bumper. And then my um, hood lights or ditch lights. Still haven't really messed around with those too much to see what I, and then, well, here we go. There's everything on. Still haven't really messed around with my ditch lights much to see exactly what I want, like what angle I want them on and everything, but right now where they're at, it's pretty good. 